George Monks, for those that don't know, his uh, Twitter following has exploded in recent years, over the last year, is the former uh, president of the uh, Oklahoma Medical Association. So this is like the uh, interest group for doctors. Um, but anyway, good follow on Twitter, shares a lot of interesting information. And so his, his critique that he frequently has is that we aren't, we aren't talking about variants and we aren't talking about studying. And I love that he says <laughs> that um, we're like last in the nation for, for sequencing variants of concern um, and uh, has been since April of 2021. And we're the only state in the U.S. with a pandemic center. Uh, so shout out to George for that one. Uh, getting stit on moving the uh, pandemic center uh, or opening the pandemic center at Oklahoma State University. Um, but uh, yeah, COVID continues to rage. Uh, the slight good news, I guess you could say, um, is that the cases are starting to sort of uh, peak, it looks like. Uh, there's been a slight decrease uh, the last week or so. Um, though the, it could be an issue with reporting around Labor Day, obviously when we have holidays, people kind of peace out for a bit and our reporting gets a little, little more sketch, but hospitalizations are also coming down slightly, uh, which, um, yeah, just is a lot harder to fake and usually indicates that there's, there's a, a trend afoot. Um, but you know, how, how, how did we get there? Same way we've gotten there, I feel like, every other time. It's like, finally, people start to take the pandemic seriously and start to implement, like, an ounce of prevention instead of just getting beaten over the head with it. So uh, Putnam City and Middell uh, both approved mask mandates. I am in the Putnam City School District. It's, like, three weeks too late. You know, my kid already missed a week of school, but, you know, whatever. You finally got there. Good job, guys. Um... Edmond, I think, got one. Oklahoma City. I mean, so like the major school districts are all finally trying to do some stuff to to prevent the spread. And uh, yeah, uh, that's any any comments on COVID. That's my like quick COVID update. Well, yeah. So if you recall, whenever this moved to like move from Oklahoma city to Stillwater to open a quote unquote, like pandemic center. Um, there were a lot of questions because the question in the, the biggest one that people were actually asking, especially people who work there, notwithstanding the fact that, you know, they, they went had, they had to move across the fucking state was okay. Even assuming a p- pandemic center is a good idea. Why would you move it in the middle of a fucking pandemic? Wouldn't you wait to after this pandemic, and then open a pandemic center and assist in avoiding future pandemics wouldn't that be the point of a pandemic center so there was like this term at the very beginning of like you know pandemic theater like people would do like crazy uh misguided take crazy misguided precautions like not open your mail for four weeks or like stuff like that you know because we didn't really know and this is Kevin Stitt's like absurd pandemic theater. It's like, I'm going to open up a pandemic center. We're going to call it a pandemic center. We're not going to do shit to address the fucking pandemic we're in. Yep. It's like the worst case scenario of pandemic theater. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is it's always too little too late. And those mass mandates for those schools, I think they include opt-out provisions, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and they shouldn't. And they should have been masking from the first day of school because none of this shit is new yeah last last spring there was ample excuse of like we don't know what the fuck we don't know how how kids get it can kids spread it the rate at which kids get it we don't know all we know is like this variant we assume there are going to be more variants coming we don't know but now we we knew beginning of summer uh maybe even spring last spring uh that the delta variant is coming the delta variant is more contagious we have to do something to stop the Delta variant and kids are better in school. We need kids in school. We knew all of those things. We also knew masking helps. Social distancing helps. Okay. So we know all of those things. Now what the fuck do we do? Right? It's like I give you all of the ingredients to make a phenomenal macaroni and cheese. Now what the fuck you do with it, it's up to you. You can sit there and stare at it if you want. Fine. And just be fucking hungry. Or in this case, people can die. But I've given you all I can give you. So we had all of the information. They could have been stockpiling masks. They could have been 
um, arranging schools for adequate social distancing. They could have been doing these things in the fucking summer. Yeah. Right? They could have been doing those things way, way, way back in the gap. They could have, like, asked for uh, pandemic funds from the federal government to, like, pay teachers and staff to be doing this over the summer. Like, we'll give you your salary, but you'll give you something on top of that. By the way, that'll bolster the fucking economy because teachers, especially in this fucking state, need money. We know that. We'll pay you to come in yeah. here, stockpiling masks, uh, social distancing, and when we have our back to school, our uh, orientations, all of those things, we'll have vaccination centers there too. Yep. So, like, we're doing, we're not going to just stamp out COVID, but we're doing everything we can so our children can be in classes, our teachers and our staff can be safe, and most importantly, our children can be safe. Like, this this is not rocket science. There's no, no. last summer, uh, well, well, not the summer before last, summer 2020, spring 2020, fall 2020, you had excuses, right? Now you don't. Now you're just fucking up. Right. And, and as I said all the time, like, it's one thing to be hungry and have no money. It's nothing to be hungry and have a pocket full of money. You just fucking up. Yeah. Like, go get a burger, bro. Like, go, like, veggie burger, steak. I don't give a fuck, but just go, go get something. Now you just yeah. fucking up. You knew you had the resources and you just didn't do anything about it. So the too little, too late is, is killing people. Yeah. The too little, too late is costing children valuable time in the classroom. The too little, too late is costing some kids meals. And, and killing people. I mean, you know, we got, I mean, our hospitalization rates were darn near uh, back up to where they were at the at the peak. I mean, you know, this is, I mean, there's cases and then, or uh, yeah, this one's hospitalizations. I mean, we, we were basically, our ICU is, is at its peak, like our ICU capacity, that red line there. I mean, it's basically at what it was at the peak of our uh, previous COVID outbreak. Yeah, the two things that bother me is like, one, going to the, to the mask thing is I was just talking to somebody who's followed COVID very care- closely before this. And he's like, why doesn't anyone wear N95 masks? And I'm like, well, I mean, I just don't know where to get legit ones. You know, I don't really trust Amazon. It's like government could have solved all that. Like there, we should have N95 masks like at the front of every business, every school, every On every fucking corner. There's an N95 mask floating in the street because motherfuckers are <laughs> walking out and throwing them away. Well, I mean, we shouldn't do that. We should give yeah, it to yeah. people around the world. But like it should be, we should yeah. be fucking floating in N95 masks. And so, and then the second thing is I've gotten emails from Putnam City about doing vaccine clinics. And I'm like, fantastic. But they do this like little thing that like really bothers me, which is only for students and staff. And so the way I read it, I'm like, so does that mean like as a parent, I couldn't get it if I wanted? Like, it's just like, unless it's a supply problem, which I guess I understand you only get so many doses. But in America, I don't think we have a supply problem. I mean, we're already giving people third doses. They they should just be like open to everyone. Like it should just be like public vaccine clinic. I mean, we're going to tell students and staff. And remind them, so it will probably be the most mostly them that shows up. But just if anyone wants a vaccine and you haven't gotten it, we'll give it to you. And we're going to get to the, the fucking craziness of it. And there was a guy on Right Wing Watch, right, who was saying that uh, he's like sick with COVID, but was saying like the electromagnetic field from vaccinated people is causing him to be sick. It's not actually COVID. But uh, you can do the science on that one. Uh, but whatever. Um but, like, this fear is from the craziness of that side. It's one thing to say, and I, I disagree with you, to say I'm not getting the vaccine. Unless there's a health reason, it's one thing to do that. I disagree with you, right? It's another thing to fucking protest sixth graders going to get a vaccine because they mama was like, yo, it's like, yo, family, my mama dropped me off. Like, what do you want me to do here? Like, it's another thing for them to have to walk around a fucking wall of crazy people saying vaccinations are going to turn them into fucking three-toed slobs next week. So you have this fear from this crazy fuck, this this very vocal, crazy minority. Again, it's one thing to just say, I don't want to get the vaccine, and I'm not going to do that. I think it's selfish unless you have a health reason. There's nothing to go up there and, like, protest and shit. And that has people scared fucking shitless. Like, schools don't want protesters outside while, like, an eighth grader is walking in trying to, like, pick up their fucking band stick, uh, drumstick to what the fuck ever. And, 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 that's, and that's, you know, for me, that's legitimate concern. Like, I, like, you know, you don't want people threatening your, your, your students, obviously. But that all comes back down again to leadership. Like, Kevin Stitch should have said, well, no, there's an executive order. Every school at orientation will be providing a vaccination clinic that's the state of Oklahoma. If you won't smoke, yep. come come to the state capitol and 
and yeah. do whatever the fuck you want. Every state will be, uh, every school in the state will have a mask mandate. We are delivering the mask to them personally. If you want smoke, come stand outside the Capitol. But instead, this motherfucker is like running in marathons, and and then when people ask him about kicking doctors off the board, he's like, huh? Like, <laughs> like it's a complete lack of leadership. And and to give them some grace, like, yeah, if you're a principal, you don't want people protesting outside your school. You don't want parents running in and saying, you know, like the lady at like uh, some school district, you know, was like they had to escort her out. You don't want those problems. Yeah. And, the, and the cover you're supposed to get is supposed to come from Kevin State. Like, listen, I mean, I, you can protest all you want, but the governor says your kid got to wear a mask. Like, what do you want me to do with this? Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.